Welcome everyone, Addy May the Woo here. It's gonna be another warm one. Stay out of the sun, do not go towards the light. Stay, if possible, in the shade. I'm going on a Hollywood hike, not up into the mountains, but along the roads and the sidewalks, but this time off the boulevard. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog channel. It's, oh, it's so good. The Daily Woo. Without a doubt, I feel there is so much to see and so much to learn about the neighborhood I now live in. Remember I told you the best way to learn things is just go out and experience them for yourself? That goes along with just pounding the pavement. You, you, get, to, you get the full experience that way. Tucked away beneath this overpass with the beaming ray of light, really giving quite the ambiance in that shot are some fantastic murals, a cattle drive. This guy's going to Hollywood. Here's a pretty good one of John Wayne, created by Lacey Lee in 2010. That's the date stamp on it. This is a storage rental facility, decorated to look just like the Old West. There's some guys up there on the balcony and an eagle protecting the property. Welcome to the Hollywood Bowl Self Storage. And amongst this skyline, amongst the cityscape, is a gargantuan kitty cat that makes Godzilla basically look like amateur hour. Got to admit, this is pretty cool. Tucked away in the permanent shade of the freeway. Very artistic. I like it. Over my shoulder is Marilyn, making sure I cross the street here on Franklin Ave very safely. This bit may have run its course already, but I'll give it one more shot. You can let me know if it's getting old or not. Place your bets. Will this payphone be quite operational or will it be dysfunctional? Place your bets. Place your... The answer is... It works! It works! They finally invented something that Work or left something that well that's that was I, that that went nowhere. There it is. The one and only Hollywood Tower. I'll give you a little inside tip. I almost, almost, almost moved into there. But I didn't. But I was I was I was very close to moving in to that complex. And truth be told, the only reason I opted out of that decision. It's because I knew if I were to live here, I would be vlogging inside the room and on the roof and on the property, all around the perimeter, constantly. And I just didn't feel like that was a safe option. I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like that would be wise. But it would have been pretty neat to reside here. There's a little placard here on the side of the wall. 1929, sophisticated living for film luminaries during the golden age of Hollywood and it's on the National Registry of Historical Places. On a side note, directly across the street at the 101 Coffee Shop, that's a pretty delicious food in there. I've eaten there quite a few times. Directly behind the diner is this old vintage looking hotel with fantastic murals of Hollywood folklore. And watch out for pedestrian crossing. Oh, they're wearing Mickey ears. Oh, wow. See, I never knew all these paintings were in here. Wow. Inside this parking structure. Is that, is that Burt Reynolds? Whoa. I wonder what happened to Paul Newman. Why isn't Paul Newman next to Redford there? It looks like at one point he was, but he's been replaced by a power outlet. This is amazing. Just wandering around. You never know what you're going to stumble upon. Jimmy Durante? Good night, Mrs. Calabash. Man, that is... I love this kind of stuff. You never know what you're going to find behind the bumper of this vehicle. The Three Stooges. They just go on and on and on. Even the elevator doors are adorned with goodness. Let's see what's down this hallway. Some snack machines. Ooh, what have we here? 
in the laundry. Oh my goodness. What year were these painted? Old Wiley up there, the Roadrunner. Lady and the Tramp. Lion King. Whoa! The Simpsons? I thought that was Jessica Rabbit for a second, but it's not. This is incredible. Spidey? I love it. I, lo I love this stuff. This is the type of thing I long for, just stumbling across fantastic murals like this. And even this. This probably has a deep, rich backstory. It wasn't originally here. Obviously, it was planted on the side of this wall. Could this have been used in a movie? Or maybe a piece of an old Hollywood hotel that was destroyed? You can see how the top part of the head has been ripped off. This sums up the happenings that go on around here. Filming all along the boulevard, movies, television. Oh, the cast of MASH up there, Warner Brothers, the Hollywood sign, Universal Studios, Capitol Records. We're not in Kansas anymore. You know what this reminds me of? The Tower of Terror at Walt Disney World. It used to be at Disneyland, but now it's only in the U.S. They only have one of them in Florida. But the bellhop kind of reminds me of that. Which is a slight segue because what you're looking at right now was the inspiration for that ride. The Hollywood Tower. The Tower of Terror. You do the math. Hopefully the elevators in there are a little safer. At some point, I would like to go inside and ride that elevator up to the top and see how it compares to the ride. I don't know if that would be appropriate to go inside someone else's residence. Maybe I need to call and get permission first. I feel like a stranger in a strange land, but I also feel slightly at home. The longer I roam around this neck of the woods, I start to learn a little more. I'm gonna start diving a lot deeper into a lot of the subject matters. But for now, I'm just trying to learn the layout of the land and hello. Get a room. Sometimes when you're in a new place, you can be very overwhelmed and sort of feel like this guy. But I'm getting there. I, I'm, I'm adapting, slowly, I'm learning. It's an overload of information, but I'm soaking it in. I'm soaking it in very well. When I think about the amount of movie and television history that's here, it makes me pretty excited. Because growing up as a young lad, I was always fascinated by the subject. And now I'm knee deep in the midst of it. If anything, that expression pretty much sums up how I'm feeling. Someone has drawn a memorial to Chris Cornell. I saw Soundgarden back in 1994, 1995 at the Edge Concert Field in Orlando, Florida. It's a great show. So sad he passed so young. Sometimes I feel like not having a vehicle here is a blessing in disguise. A parking situation. Slim pickings. There's not a whole heck of a lot of options. Oh, something's happening down there. And look at that mountain right. You don't see that kind of view in Florida. 31 years ago, someone who arrived here in town inscribed their name and the date. August 17th, 1976. Hollywood and Foxy. Pretty neat. Remnants of the past. Right along this sidewalk. Someone left their burrito there. I guess they weren't hungry anymore. And a baby bottle on top of a random dishwasher on the side of this thoroughfare. They don't call this place Holly Weird for nothing. If you are feeling inclined to walk down this alley, do not do so. Now I know you're thinking, I don't see a no trespassing sign, so what's the harm in it? Well, look at this placard here on the ground. I have never seen this in all my life. Quote, right to pass by permission and subject to control of owner, section 1008 civil code embedded in the ground. They're not using some Home Depot paper or plastic sign mounted on the side of the fence. They're going full placard. Classic truck alert. The person honking was not entertained. Look at that neon. They are illuminating the lights. First to heart, 
then a, a piece of cake, and then the entire board lights up. Coffee, a piece of chicken, an ice cream cone. Pretty cool. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. My favorite car slash vehicle of the day is this. Man, it reminds me of those old bomber planes. Except it's on a VW bug bus. That's awesome. The best interpretation I can gather from this is in order to create goodness, just flick the switch on and magic will festoon itself into the heavens. It's still hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that anywhere in the vicinity of where I live, I can just look up and see the world famous Hollywood sign. Pretty incredible when you think about it. Right over here in this bag is an item I just purchased from a thrift store. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? But first, check this out. The license plate states 66 Nova. That is a classic. And I like the fact that the dice are just hanging there from the window, old school style. I got this 1992 book entitled A Day in the Life in Hollywood. It's not super vintage, but old enough to where there are a lot of really cool photos in here. You can just see what this area has looked like over the last couple decades. I've been purchasing a lot of books just to research this neck of the woods. Oh, there's the Hollywood sign right there. The old horse ranch below it. Wow, people used to spray paint the back of the letters. It's very difficult to do that now. They have it very secured. Pretty interesting area. Pretty interesting history. Stuff like this are great research tools. Whoa! Because I have to be honest, I, since I am new here, I'm learning something every day. I am not completely knowledgeable of every subject. But life is funny that way. You learn as you go. You learn by doing and by getting out and seeing things. Just like this little girl who has her handprints where Roy Rogers left them. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. The vlog is just about over. <laughs>